ever be started in a worship room. That chorus came out of a time when we had a two hour set and there was a half hour left to fill and we had run out of songs and didn't really have anything else to do. So I just thought real quick, we need to come up with something repeatable. And that kind of fell out of my mouth. As I was thinking about writing this into a song, the Lord spoke to me and said, I gave you that chorus and that bridge is a freebie so that together we could mine out why my praise will ever be on your lips. And that started a really long process, about a year of writing draft after draft after draft of why will his praise ever be on my lips. I have this notebook that I affectionately refer to as my ever be notebook, uh, filled every page, just processing, getting out, you know, where I knew in my heart who he was. I had stories in my mind, but I didn't, I didn't have the words that I wanted to articulate his faithfulness, his love toward me, his commitment that I'd seen over the years. So it was just a place where we kind of found my heart together. There's something that resonates so deep with who I've seen God to be, this covenant path that he's walked around me over and over and over, where I, I wasn't loving, I wasn't peaceful, I wasn't faithful. Because of what he did, he's making me like him. And all of a sudden, I am faithful. I'm loving, I'm peaceful, I have joy. I become the things that I wasn't because of what he did. For me, my heart, my prayer would be as people hear it as they sing it, that it would become an anthem for the bride of declaring whatever is in front of me, whatever I might be a part of right now, experiencing pain, hardship, loss, disappointment, or dreams fulfilled, victories won, breakthrough all over. He remains the same because of what he's done for me, because of where we're headed, and because of that, I can be resolved for all eternity. His praise will ever be on my lips regardless of what I may be going through in the moment.